just got serious. In the all-new Toyota Avalon. Two conference champions meet today for the right to go to the College Cup. Here in the quarterfinals, Florida State has had the luxury of being at home through the first three rounds of the tournament. Penn State, on the other hand, making their second road trip, looking to upset Florida State. Penn State Nittany Lions, champions of the Big Ten against Florida State, champions of the ACC. You see the updated brackets as we see them. Florida State, Penn State coming off nice wins last week. Winner of this game will go on to the College Cup and face either Stanford or Tennessee. Thank you very much for joining us here, everybody, on Thanksgiving Day weekend. I'm Trevor DeGroat alongside Catherine Phillips. Catherine, we have quite the matchup here today against two really possessive, dominated teams. Penn State unbeaten in 13 straight. Very elite defense, very timely offense, too. That's right. Penn State taking on Wake Forest in the third round of this tournament. 14th minute, Ellie Jean crosses to Marissa Shiva. Marissa takes it off the left foot, finds the back of the net to give the Nittany Lions the 1-0 advantage. The rest of the match, it was all Penn State defense. And Amanda Dennis coming up big for Penn State with two huge saves, holding the Demon Deacon scoreless. And they're moving on to the round of eight. Penn State's been really elite on defense all season long. You could say the same for Florida State, but they had to come back from two 1-0 deficits the last two weeks. None more thrilling, Cap, than the last Saturday against the Trojans. Yeah, after getting down early, of course, Dallas Dorsey gets the equalizer for her team. After two overtimes, they move on to PKs, and Caroline Jeffers gets the first stop. Then Yuji Zhao steps up to take her shot and secures the win. She punches their ticket to the round of eight. Big moment, obviously, for Yuji Zhao in Florida State to survive against USC. So now it doesn't get any easier, though, against the Penn State Nittany Lions. Coming up next, Penn State versus Florida State. Winner goes to the College Cup. on number one Duke, Tuesday at 9.30 on ESPN. And settling in here, getting ready for Penn State against Florida State at the Seminole Soccer Complex in Tallahassee here on ESPN3. Well, the last time these two teams met was back in 2012 in the NCAA College Cup semifinal out in San Diego. And it was Penn State coming out victorious 2-1. Maya Hayes with a 57th minute goal. Then FSU's Tiffany McCarty with a huge goal in the 90th minute. But it was Christine Nairn with the golden go in OT that gave Penn State into the College Cup final. As Catherine, we take a look at both coaches who were both there for that game. Erica Dombach, the Big Ten Coach of the Year. She was actually an assistant for Mark Coring at Florida State back in 05 and 06. This is her 12th consecutive NCAA tournament appearance. And there's the head coach for the Florida State Seminoles, Mark Krikorian, in his 14th season, 14 consecutive NCAA tournament appearances, eight College Cup appearances. Florida State's looking to make that nine here today. Both with a wealth of knowledge and experience. And let's take a look at both lineups here today. Looking at Penn State first with a 4-2-3-1 or a 4-5-1, depending how you look at it. Talia Ferry up top with Abella Williams and Shiva in the middle with Moyer and Ogle. That's the person you got to keep an eye on today for Penn State, the quarterback, along with their elite back line of Abello, Real, Knopf, and Ortega Harado. Florida State, 4-1-4-1. McFarland up top, Villalobos, Castellano, Zhao, Tillman along the midfield, a dangerous midfield with a very good freshman in Jalen Howell holding the midfield. Pavlisko, Cuica, Berkeley, and Carl in the back. And we'll take a look at both goalkeepers here, Catherine. Both really doing a great job, especially Amanda Dennis with a lot of experience this year. 
Yeah, she's one of the leaders of an impressive Nittany Lion defense. Her 134 career saves are ninth in program history for Penn State. She's had 14 shutouts in 24 matches this season, and she has been so solid back in the goal. Although for Florida State, with Brooke Bollinger out, Caroline, Caroline Jeffers, though, has stepped up really nicely, coming through in some big moments. She really has, getting her fifth start for the Seminoles after she stepped in for an injured Brooke Bollinger back in the ACC Championship. But she's done her job with confidence, and she's done a great job back there as well. Who will advance to the College Cup? Both teams have not been there since 2015. Have to decide today, one team's going to end that streak today. Will it be Penn State or Florida State? We're ready to go here in Tallahassee. It'll be Charlotte Williams and Emily Ogle kicking things off for Penn State with the opening possession. And here we go. Penn State coming in here with an 18 and five and one record. Big 10 champions. Florida State winning the ACC tournament at 17, four and three overall in the year. Ball getting close to that 18-yard box. Berkeley clears it up. Zhao gets it back to Berkeley, and she'll clear. Catherine, both teams come in here with a possession-minded attack. As we see, Kristen McFarland get a good handle and a run on the ball, and she'll outlet it over to, Kay to Casey Tillman. Feeds it to Zhao up top, and it'll go back to that back line to Kaylee Reel. She'll clear it. Both teams, though, very possession-minded, want to control tempo and pace. Yeah, both possession-oriented teams, both teams with stellar defense. A big key here today is going to be who can get that first goal. It's going to be tough to get past either back line in this match. Florida State's been fortunate to bring their attack. The last two weeks have trailed and have deficits, and they've been fortunate enough to get their offensive attack back in rhythm with three unanswered against USF two weeks ago. And Coming up with a huge goal with Dallas Dorsey and then winning it in PKs against USC. Yeah, being down, having that deficit has been a little bit of a new experience for this Florida State team, but they've been able to come back, and having that experience has probably helped build up some confidence at this stage in the tournament. Of course, Penn State, really gritty team. They don't score too many goals, but they can hold you down quite a bit, and they have a lot of senior and redshirt junior experience on this club. As you see, Florida State trying to control. Penn State does a nice job of regaining possession. Good clearance by Marissa Shiva. Berkeley now trying to get it in, but a nice job of disrupting by number 17, Alina Ortega Harado. It'll be so tough trying to navigate through the middle. These defenders are very aggressive for Penn State, but do a nice job at recovering and doing a nice job engaging on one on ones. Berkeley trying to go long ball to McFarland or Castellanos in the center, but no dice. Maddie Nolf controls, getting pressured by Villalobos. Over to Nolf, and she'll just, thought she was going to go over to Dennis, but a good job by Villalobos to force the throw in. Of course, Gloriana Villalobos stepping in for the injured Christina Lynch a couple weeks back. Devastating injury to Christina Lynch. But Villalobos finally getting that first goal against USF two, two games ago, and very dynamic now on that outside. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Oh. Get on the grass. Effective passing over to Ellie Jean. Long ball, deep. Pablisco just cleared over. And a poor job. That'll be a corner. And Penn State really liking that. That bench is lively over there. A real team-oriented atmosphere, team-first approach, Catherine. Yeah, Erica Dombach told us that this is their team, their family against another team. They view it as one unit. They're in it together, and they're just playing 11 players on the opposite side of the field. Emily Ogle putting it in. Out swinger right to Caroline Jeffers, though. Jeffers coming off of that end line. Tight shot, no problem. Elia Quika sending it down for McFarland to chase. And she'll get there. Excellent ball. Golf meeting her at the head. Castellanos, though, controls. Back over to Jalen Howell, the freshman. He's had a fantastic season as a holding midfielder. 
And they're into Tillman, into the box they go. Here's Jow, Castellanos, didn't get all that shot. Dennis is there to fall on it. Anna Castellanos, obviously the Venezuelan sensation with 35 career goals for Florida State. That's ninth in program history. So an early opportunity, Catherine, right there in the center for Florida State on the run. Yeah, and that's what both t both of these teams are going to want. They want to make the most out of all of their opportunities because it's going to be, again, so tough to get past any back line. That was a pretty good look for Florida State right there, getting the ball to Castellanos. Looks like it just clipped the Penn State defense. Didn't get all of it, but was able to go through the legs of one of the Penn State defenders. But Penn State now on the run. Here's Ellie Jean showing casing some speed. Berkeley there, though, to disrupt. This will be such a chess match today. Both teams, as we mentioned, very possession-oriented, want to control the ball and the tempo. Both are going to have to get comfortable, though, for spurts and times without the ball. Well, and as Erica Dombach told us, that's one of the strong suits of this Penn State team is they've become comfortable not having the ball, and that can be tough to do. Big but they've gotten the used to that this season, and you need to come into a match against Florida State ready to not have possession because as possession-oriented as they may like to be, no one does it better than this Florida State team. Caroline Jeffers will look around. She had a big boot, so she can send it down if she wants to, but one gathering in that midfield are a little shorter than that. The Lobos, chest, good job of trapping, but it goes the other way, and Penn State, wonderful header by Shiva. Good job turning in, but a nice job by Pavlisko to track that ball down, and tonight, Tally Fieri. And to Tally Fieri, the lone forward up top, has seven goals on the season for Penn State. Now Jalen Howell, the ball into the middle to Yuji Zhao, but they'll settle things down. Castellanos will work it back over to Berkeley. Now getting into it, obviously a hometown feel for Florida State. And on their home turf, long ball over. Dennis will gather it. Nice job by Kaylee Reel, the Big Ten def Defender of the Year. Take a look at the crowd, big crowd on hand. Penn State brought out quite a few fans today, too. They certainly travel well. Big time program that is now in the NCAA tournament for the 24th straight year. They have a nice little supporters group called Park, Out, Park Avenue Army. They call themselves the largest and loudest women's soccer student section in the country. They make themselves known at every Penn State women's soccer game. They were certainly lively over in Morgantown the last two games last week. And in fact, Penn State had to go to Morgantown last year in the NCAA tournament, so it's almost a home away from home for the Nittany Lions. Not too far of a travel going from Penn State to West Virginia. Ball gets past real, but Gene is there to keep it from going past the touch line, but not in that instance, working it up. No score here. Trevor DeGroat and Catherine Phillips bringing you the action here on ESPN3. Penn State, Florida State. Winner advances to the College Cup. They'll meet either Stanford or Tennessee. It's the only region that does not have a one versus two seeded matchup, but Penn State, make no mistake about it, they are an elite team that can be dangerous and beat you against anybody. Job working it in by Penn State. Shiva's gonna try and run it down. She does. Trying to feed Charlotte Williams close to the box. Back out to Gene. Does not waste time. Carl. Marking her, good job, but it will result in another corner. So Penn State with a good amount of possession time at the moment. Emily Ogle, widely considered the quarterback of this team. As that number six holding mid, she also likes to get involved on offense. Really reads the terrain well of what Penn State wants to do. 
Yeah, and Emily Ogle is one of those players that can do it all. She's just so versatile, and that's what makes her a strength. No lining in swinger on the cross on the corner, and Castellanos will boot it. Ogle the Big Ten midfielder of the year. So you have the Big Ten defender of the year and the midfielder of the year. That's excellent company right there for Penn State. And so much experience on the U.S. women's national team ranks in the U divisions here on this club as well. Again, getting in deep and Penn State forcing another corner and that bench is lively. Really trying to keep their team energized and connected as one. Emily Ogle playing her 100th game with the Nittany Lions. Five foot five senior, red shirt out of Strongsville, Ohio. See if she can get this one in closer to the net. More elevation, in swing, line drive, and Quika is the one who heads it up, heads it out of the box. Shay Moyer though. There, and Charlotte Williams trying to dig in. Take some space into the box. A nice clearance. Ortega Hirado tried to take that ball in, but good job once again by Florida State. And State keeps it in. We move inside. Cross in, Tillman. Tries to get it out, but it was right to a Penn State defender midfielder, and Ogle's the one who takes the shot, just a little bit too high. Excellent job by Carrie Abello being right there to disrupt that pass and outlet out. So Tillman gets a foot on it, but Abello's right there. Yeah, just a little too excited since that one over the goal, but this is what Penn State wanted. They wanted to have possession, and they wanted to be creating opportunities in their attacking half, and that's what they've done so far. Correction on that shot, that was Alina ortega Harado. See a violent header by Jalen Howell. He's been rock solid on those goal kicks and free kicks for headers. Gene once again. Trying to supercharge Penn State, but this will be a miscommunication trying to feed up into the box for Tally Fieri and Caroline Jeffers will get it back. State fighting for those 50-50s at the moment, winning the majority of them. State gets the possession. Carl saves it from going out. Nice ball over into the middle to Castellanos. And State really bunkering at the moment, bringing a lot of numbers back. Carl to the outside. over to Howell, Florida State methodically trying to work the ball around. Back over to Pavlisko. All 11 players are behind the ball for Penn State, or in front of it, I should say. Long ball over to the outside to Gloriana Villalobos. And the challenge against Nolf, gets double teamed for Pavlisko, and once again, Florida State will have to reset. It's so difficult, Catherine, trying to figure out Penn State all year if you're an opponent. Only twice all season have they allowed two goals. Long ball over to Dennis. Challenge there and just couldn't get it in time. So a very dangerous opportunity trying to feed Yuji Zhao for her eighth goal of the season. And Yuji Zhao has just been so dangerous in front of the goal right there. She's one of the players that Florida State's looking to a lot. Chinese international on the U-20 team. Boy, she has been a huge difference maker for Florida State in its attack. Disruption by Berkeley, but Abello is going to get it. State working it around to Nolf. Good connect on that pass, but Nolf is trying to get it. Lobos asking for a handball, but no dice as Carl is the one there to clear it away. State will get it back, working around over to Kaylee Reel. Sure. This handles a bit. Marlin almost got a piece of it. Trying to work herself the other way. She would have had a lot of real estate to work with. Aggressive tackle by Howell, and that'll result in a foul against Charlotte Williams.
Florida State kind of on their heels at the moment, Catherine. They haven't really been used to being on defense this much, pretty much all year, all season long. Yeah, I don't know that anyone has put Florida State in this position yet, but Penn State's doing a great job of holding on to possession and creating those opportunities. Ogle going to put it in play on the free kick. A little short. Cuica is there once again to head it away. Moyer is going to gather it, getting challenged by Zhao. A nice job by Zhao. Cut her off on that turn. And some help, though. Pavlisko gets it out, but a nice job of aggressiveness by Penn State not giving up possession. A little pinball back and forth off the bodies. And it'll go off on Nolf. And Florida State crowd loving the ovation, gets the ovation. One of the biggest of the day thus far. Haven't had too much to really cheer about as Penn State has had most of the time and the looks. Knocked down there by McFarland to keep it. Castellanos to Zhao. See a lot of blue jerseys surrounding Florida State White. The Lobos too strong of a pass by Zhao and it'll go the other way. Right now for Florida State, it's just about finding any way to break down that Penn State back line, figuring out any way to get a ball or a man through them, and that's what they've struggled with so far in the first 15 minutes of this game. Today's officials, by the way, head referee Corey Rockwell, assistant referees Jamie Willis and Brandon Adams, and alternate official is David King, timekeeper is Sussman Golvani. Work their way through is Florida State. Good. Good dispossession by Gloriana Villalobos. Go back over to Pavlisko. State will start working the ball. Alfieri trying to get in the way of things. Berkeley all alone. Villalobos coaching her teammates right now to settle down and keep the ball. Long ball. We could. Tillman trying to sprint. Will not be able to, and Penn State reaffirms possession. Only twice all season long has Penn State allowed two goals, and no more than that. This is just a team that does not allow you to get inside and really dominate possession or dominate looks. They certainly do an excellent job on that back line, and Amanda Dennis, of course, making the Big Ten All-Tournament team for a reason as well. Well, and that's how you win, right? They say defense wins championships, and no one's done that better than Penn State. They haven't lost a game since the end of September. Dating back to the 27th against Nebraska at home. And a 1-0 defeat. Ball will go back to Penn State. 13-game unbeaten streak, as we mentioned at the top of the broadcast. 12 are wins in regulation or OT. The only other one was in penalty kicks which is in the Big Ten Championship against Minnesota, which Penn State won. So they haven't had any losses since that moment. Pretty crazy. Just a well-oiled machine that Erica Dombach and this Penn State program have had in their 25th year. Chow trying to cross. Excellent job to try and get possession of the ball, but Penn State gets it out, although Castellanos is there. Ball meets her feet, but a great dispossession by Ogle. Gets past everybody. Berkeley's got to race it down. Works it back up to Carl, and she'll just try and get it up. And a foul to Penn State. Cloudy Friday afternoon here in Tallahassee. Temperatures under 70 degrees. A little bit of wind as well. Temperature wise, that's probably Penn State advantage. Yeah, this is the kind of weather that they like. They said they enjoyed that 45 degrees in Morgantown last weekend. I'm sure they're really loving this kind of weather. It's like spring for them up in Pennsylvania. Happy Valley. Six twenty to go. Still no score here in Tallahassee between Penn State and Florida State. They kind of settled down here for the most part, although Penn State forcing the issue a little bit right now. Bringing numbers up. We could go for a long ball to Villalobos. 
looks pretty good, but a nice job by Penn State. Ortega Harado going to go back to Florida State. And that may be what Florida State has to do, Catherine, is maybe get on the scoreboard here. Penn State can bunker down, but if they get a chance to get spread out, you may have to try and do a long ball. We've seen a few of those opportunities, or Florida State take those chances early in this game. Yeah, those long balls and then running it down the wings has been so beneficial to Florida State in the postseason. Wow, a nice job winning the ball away from Williams. Castellanos now on a run, got some space, getting tracked. She tries to set up Til Tillman, but Gene. Excellent awareness, but right there for it. So get things the other way. There's Shiva working down the right wing, is calling for it, but a nice job by Carl of dispossessing. Now, Yuji Zhao gets it over. Castellanos over to Villalobos. You see the Nittany Lions working back. Avlisco has some speed from defense. Forces the throw in. Rudolf there for the disruption. Pass over to the inside to Zhao. Howell. it over to Carl. You'll see Penn State just very fast and not wasting time in getting to the ball. Their effort is exceptional. I mean, right now where there's one Florida State player, there's at least three Penn State defenders on it. All eyes on the ball and working together as one unit to disrupt Florida State's attackers, which are elite. Here comes Penn State. Berkeley, though, coming up from that defense roll and excellent job of keeping it until Shiva however gets in on the action Here comes Williams up the middle how trying to declutter her and she does however it's going to draw a foul and this will be a dangerous free kick opportunity for the Nittany Lions yeah, you do not want to give up a free kick right there if you're Florida State how very aggressive in that holding midfielder spot. She may have gotten the ball a little bit, but kind of keeps that leg planted into the ground. Keep Williams away from the ball, and unfortunately, the Drew contact. And so, Penn State will get an opportunity. This will be from about 27 yards out. A real dangerous situation for Caroline Jeffers. Ogle and Ortega Harado standing over. Shot over to the left, tries to go past the wall. Ogle takes the shot way high. Florida State's defense holding strong there. Just under 23 minutes remain here in the first half. Still no score between Penn State and Florida State as you see Emily Ogle. Midfielder of the year, and Florida State will get their first sub on, and it's their super sub in sorts. Dallas Dorsey, who has been huge in the last two games in the tournament, and of course in the ACC championship game as well, Catherine. Well, Mark kikorian has been calling her Miss November because of what she's been able to do in this postseason. She's just found herself in the right place at the right time, and she's been the playmaker for the Seminoles. So the crowd just gave her a warm welcome as she entered the field. Six goals on the season, but it, a lot of them have come lately. Of course, for the Nittany Lions, their leading goal scorer is actually Kristen Schnur. She comes off the bench regularly as well, having made only eight starts this season. She has eight goals. It's it, those fresh legs, they come into the game with the idea of scoring. That's their mission. They want to make a play happen, and that's why those two have been so successful. Really just shake things up and keep things moving, but trying to quicken the play, the pace when maybe the game with the starters goes a little stale and they understand their opponents better. Nice job by Shiva getting in front of that ball. Tries to cross over, but Berkeley is there. Jump trapping. Off once again in there against Villalobos. Both teams with such a keen eye for the ball and extremely technically sound. State working around, it's real. She gets pressured a bit. Zhao is there to intercept. Off the pass from Ogle. Yeah. 
Berkeley going long ball deep. Gene there to Rabbit. Back and forth between those two, Berkeley and Gene. Ball goes to the midfield for Jalen Howell. Slows things down. I wonder, Catherine, how Florida State will be able to get Dorsey going, perhaps. She has a lot more speed than starter Kristen McFarlane. Oh, what an amazing job right, right here by Carrie Abello. And Quika, though, able to head her off with a pass at the top of the 18. And Jeffers there to gather and outlet it out to the right to Carl. Beautiful job by Quika. Great job by Quika to turn up the pace and run that one down. Dor Dorsey gets it. However, Real is there for the challenge. So there you go, right off the bat, Catherine, trying to get Dorsey going with her speed on those long balls. Yeah, Dorsey's such a threat on goal, but right now they got to be able to get the ball to her to allow her to be a threat. And Florida State's been struggling. Amazing ball over to Shiva. She's all alone. Quika trying to get it to her. And Shiva just misfires way right. So Penn State coming right back on the other side. Amazing ball down the right side. And it just a misfire by Marissa Shiva. Shiva had all the space. Just gets excited and misfires on that one. That's an opportunity that she would like to have back. That ball with a lot of spin on it and rolling away from the net. Tried to wait for it to settle a little bit so she can get some good footing and just couldn't get a good handle. Well, and those are opportunities that neither team will get too much in this match, so it's going to be really important for them to just settle down, slow down, and make the most of it. What an amazing heel by Villalobos to keep that ball in play and possession back to Florida State. But Olga, once again, this Penn State team just not allowing the Seminoles to get any sort of run, or at least a consistent one at that, for too many times. Good job by Howell, flicking it up and re regaining possession. Shiva, of course, with three game-winning goals, three of the four she has scored this season, including last week. That's Wake Forest. Through ball, doesn't get to anybody except Jeffers. So a bit of a stalemate at this moment. Both teams with a couple of looks, but nothing too threatening on goal just yet. Penn State with the majority of the shots, out shooting the Seminoles, 4-1. However, only one of those four have been on net. Long ball. Everybody home. Dennis in the neon green. Try and reset her 10 teammates. Short kick and a mishandle, but it was off sides. Of course, you see her just letting it go, probably understanding that she wasn't going to get the call she wanted. Set up by Ortega Arado. Back up. Week has been very busy. We'll just allow her teammates to get back in time on the throw in. Week of the Finland National. Just a little bit of time during the season to play for Finland. It's international games. The captain and the leader of this Florida State team. She will be departing next season. Senior. Young Penn State, Berkeley, her counterpart on the right side of that back line in the middle. Clearing it up. Once again, Penn State doing a nice job of locking down Dorsey and not letting the ball fall to her feet. Give her a chance to make a go for goal. one of the better jobs, Catherine, thus far. We're almost 30 minutes into this match, and Florida State only has one shot. They have really dominated shots against practically all of their opponents all season long. Yeah, Florida State has been dominating shots all season. We haven't seen this from the Seminoles yet this year. 
But this Penn State team just has such a good read on the ball and they're so quick to get to every ball. I'm saying better myself as the fans are a little irate. About a no call to Pavlisko, but it is their ball. Back to take a look at that under screen. Florida State 136 to 16 at home, out shooting opponents. Well, and what we've seen from Florida State is they've been out shooting their opponents, but they've struggled oftentimes to create the opportunities and actually find the net. So when they get their shots on goal today, they're going to want to capitalize on it. And they find one here. Villalobos Setting up Dorsey a little wrong, but still able to get possession. And Lobos gets it back, and they'll have to reset. Complete working her way up. Jesus hands it off to Zhao, and then to Tillman. Real just there, right in the way of the pass, up the pitch into the box. Gene. Up. It's a Florida State midfielder. Let's see Kristen Schnur. As we mentioned, Penn State's leading goal scorer. She'll sub in for Talia Ferry. Down the Lions. Just a missed pass from Williams trying to feed Shiva, it looked like, but Shiva pulled up. Maybe concerned about going off sides. The pass is not exactly connecting at the moment for both teams. It is quite the chess match with both these coaches knowing each other's styles so well. I mean, coached together, not just here at Florida State, but also in the U.S. national system. They both told us that they've learned things from one another. Don Bach, of course, the assistant to Mark McCorian, but he said, hey, I learned probably more from her than she did from me. Really likes the detail-oriented approach that Don Bach brings. You have to when you come to Penn State, and she has continued that winning tradition beautifully. Penn State had 12 straight NCAA tournament appearances before she got there, and 12 now with her. Jow doing a good job of challenging, but Leo Lobos Blocks it, goes past the touchline. Well, and I love that Dombach has credited a lot of their program's success to the success of Penn State Athletics as a whole. She said, anywhere you walk in the athletics department, you're close to a national champion. And seeing that level of student athlete everywhere you go, and for her girls, seeing someone who's done something that they want to do, that's the ultimate motivator. And she said that's been the key to their success. sides against Florida State. And you mentioned obviously Penn State being a huge part of winning tradition, the wrestling program. I like to say we've never lost anything ever, I think, is what <laughs> Tom Box said. We were talking with her before this game. Penn State volleyball has won a lot of championships. Football program's back on track, so a lot of winning at Penn State, and it is certainly contagious. Yeah, one of the elite programs in the nation. And when you see that success everywhere, it's just contagious. And everyone wants to be as good as everyone else is. And as we said, decent contingent here trying to find seats at the Seminole Soccer Complex. It is packed here, not only at the stadium, but across the road at the parking garage. It is packed, not just on the top level, but you see folks in the second level as well. Weekend trying to get it. Back up the pitch for Florida State to Zhao. It's off Shiva. Going to work its way right back to Penn State. You see that parking garage. Doesn't matter if it's Black Friday, this is the biggest ticket, the biggest deal you can find here in NCAA Florida quarterfinal. Florida State fans tailgate for these games. Of course, a big game tomorrow for Florida State football as well with uh, the arch rival Florida Gators coming into town. So you know there's a lot of people here in Tallahassee for multiple different reasons. Out on Penn State. A little bit of a dispute going on here with the speed and pace. Florida State will make a couple more substitutions. 
Anna Patton coming in for Dana Castellanos. And Olivia Bergal subbing in at that midfield spot for Gloriana Villalobos. Give those players a little bit of a rest. Penn State, you probably won't see too many substitutions. In the last couple of games, they've only really had two subs total. A team with a lot of endurance and a lot of experience that Coach Dombach certainly relies upon, and they're up to the challenge night in and night out. Going to Dorsey. This game gets challenged extremely well. All worked back up to the Florida State back four. See Schnur challenging. No shots have been registered for quite some time. But Florida State seems to have found a little bit more possession time. Nice ball by Berkeley to Patton. She'll go outside to Tillman. Back to Patton. Up the pitch to Carl. Off sides, cross in, but it's right to Dennis. One of the cleaner runs by Florida State with some good precision passing, but as difficult as that been, has been, now you got to try and find a way past a keeper who allows just about a half a goal per game. Yeah, Florida State doing a better job right now, stringing some passes together, creating some sequences, and that's the first step to getting that goal in. So for most of the first half, they were just shooting the long ball up to the goal. And State now back up the other way. Quika tried to settle it down and went to Schnur, but she couldn't control. And we'll go back the other way, and State will have their second substitution of the game. Kim Dubbs subbing in for Talia Ferry. Dubbs out of Zurich, Switzerland. And with the Swiss national team of the U16 through the U23s. She made the Big Ten all freshman team. Florida State will regain possession on that. That, that out, but boy, Penn State really rally or rowdy over there. Knowing they are the road team, trying to inspire their 11 players on. Coach Dombach said they're a unit and they're a family and they're going to win together and lose together and their whole bench right now standing up, cheering everyone on. When you're running down the field back and forth so much, that's where you look for energy. It's ball down, no offsides. Now the offsides flag waves up. Megan Connolly has entered the game for Florida State. Really, you can almost say it's like national team of the United States against the international team of the world here for Florida State on one side with a lot of international players and Penn State with a lot of U.S. women's national team representation for the future. You can expect these players to certainly be on national teams and in the pros for years to come after college. to Maddie Nolf. Right to Pavlisko. Good dispossession by Bergal, where she gets taken down, and Nolf will get the call for the knock. Less than seven minutes to go, still no score. The Florida State find a way to get up fast. Free kick just outside of midfield. Bergal in her 78th game with Florida State. Typically is shuffled between midfield and left back. She has two goals on the season. Here's Berkeley. Over to Gabby Carl. Got some speed and space. Nice job of pivoting and stepping. Patton's got a little bit of room in the center. Good dribbles. Leaves it for Bergau. Shot. Gets the front the shot. Tried to regather it and take a one-timer, but just missed the net. Or missed the ball, I should say. And However, Florida State will get a corner for the first time this afternoon. 
Fans loving it. Zhao just missing it. And it'll be Megan Connolly taking the corner for Florida State. And Swinger going in, headed out by Penn State's Haley Wheel. The Florida State regathers. Quika over to Zhao, who's back along that back four. This pass, Dorsey did deflect a little bit on the clearance attempt. By Ortega Harado back over to Dorsey. we go back outside the box. Connolly, forward up to Bergal, right near the end line. Back over to Connolly. Florida State trying to find a way, find an opening. Penn State, though, doing a nice job of not giving them any windows. Over to Connolly now. Pass. Hogel is there. Zhao trying to challenge for it. It was an aggressive challenge and an extended one. Ogle does a nice job getting it back. Here comes Schnur. She's got some space. See everybody back. Williams gathers over to Shiva. She's got a lot of room. Crossover inside. Berkeley inside heel out. Shiva back over to Null. Ball in. Header. Shot saved by Jeffers. Denying Kim Dubs. First real tough opportunity for either keeper today, and Jeffers comes up big. Dangerous for Caroline Jeffers, but that was a great job of her to get a touch on that ball. And State finding some momentum with four minutes remaining. Again, a beautiful cross over by Nolf to feed Kim Dubs, who's left almost unmatched and unchallenged for that header. A critical point in the ball game with the time winding down. Certainly would like to have a goal and a lead entering halftime as we take another look at that opportunity for Penn State. You see Carl tried to come in there at the last second, but Dubs was left quite a bit alone and had a clean look. But Jeffers with that left hand, Catherine, coming up big once, once more. Yeah, that was a perfect pass and a great header. It was just a good job by Jeffers to get a touch on it. Move back over to her left. Penn State bench still very excited. And I think they have to be pretty pleased with how they've come out. And taking control at a lot of points in this matchup against the home team. They're seeing there's three minutes left in the half. They want to have the advantage heading into the locker room, doing everything they can to help. And the shot's advantage, 5-2, as we see a long ball from Gene over the heads of both Pavlisko and Shiva. Shiva tried to get it in time, but it'll go back to Florida State on a throw. Pavlisko, the freshman out of Middleburg, Florida. One goal and an assist on the season, and she's started in every single game she's played. It's her 24th of the season at that left back spot. In state, there's Williams. Back over to Gene. Gene's a good change of pack, pace left back with a lot of speed, can really start to move things, and Florida State recognizing that. As Megan Connolly is there, send it back up. Dubs, double teamed. So Florida State starting to employ a little double team mechanics as well here, Catherine, towards the end of the, of the half. Well, they've seen Penn State do it to him for 45 minutes now. Good job by Berkeley once again, locking down that way, alleyway, and goes out to Connolly, 2015 ACC midfielder of the year. Schnurr coming up from behind Howell. Bad ball by Carl as Gene once again is there to shift possession. However, Florida State is there as well. A little back and forth. Shiva with a header up. Berkeley 
Shiva is there again. Minute, this is a shot that will go wide right as we have one minute left. Penn State has been very game and then some. See if Caroline Jeffers can put a ball down deep enough to where Florida State can get it and maybe work their way up for a shot on net if they can. Ogle heads it back. Pavlisko, but it's Penn State who will gather. Less than 30 to go in the half. Puika, clearance up. And Ogle will put a foot on it and it'll roll past the touch line. So some good back and forth action in this first half. Both teams had some looks, but it will end with no score after the first 45 minutes of play. You see Dallas Dorsey spent quite a bit of time on the attack coming off the bench. Hasn't gotten free yet for the most part. Penn State keeping her in check. Caroline Jeffers, however, has been sharp thus far. Catherine with some pretty good saves and certainly the most action she has seen in a game thus far this season. Yeah, great job by Caroline Jeffers, showing some confidence, stepping up and making those saves. When Penn State had a couple good looks on goal in the first half. Jeffers just making her fifth start of the season for Florida State for the injured Brooke Bollinger. See Penn State getting some drinks. They deserved them. They've earned them pretty nicely as they head into the locker room. Florida State, some adjustments going to have to be made here, Catherine, I would believe, knowing that they haven't been really taken to task too many times in a half this season. Erica Dombach has to be pleased along with her coaching staff. Both these teams have been just so dominant in their respective conferences for a number of years now. Fans will Reassess, still waiting that first goal in this matchup between Florida State and Penn State. The NCAA Soccer Championship quarterfinal. We're going to head now down to the field with Florida State head coach Mark Krikorian. Send it down to him, coach. This is Trevor DeGroat. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm okay. I can't hear you very well, though. Okay, we'll see if we can talk loudly here to talk with you real quick. Coach, how would you assess your first half here? Penn State had a few opportunities and six shots, a couple good looks in the net. Yeah, I thought overall that uh, our quality wasn't good enough. Uh, they beat us in the midfield pretty badly, both for first balls and second balls, and uh, uh, hopefully uh, we can get ourselves uh, right here in the halftime and uh, be ready to compete a little bit better in the second half. What adjustments do you need to make to break down that Penn State back line and to get some more quality looks on goal? I think the first thing is we have to stop just kicking long balls, hoping that we're going to just hit the ball behind them and run by them. So it's going to have to take a little bit more possession, a little more sophistication than what we've showed in the first half. And if we do that, then we'll be all right. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Good luck in the second half. There you go, head coach Mark Krikorian. You need to do some adjustments and to get the team back. Sharp what they want to do. No score between the Nittany Lions and Florida State Seminoles. Back after this. Conference championships. To get to MLS Cup, you gotta take it all the way up. The Audi 2018 MLS Cup playoffs today on ESPN and FS1. No score between Penn State and Florida State here in the NCAA Soccer Championship quarterfinal match. Winner goes to the College Cup. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. Catherine, it's been Pretty much a stalemate with both back lines doing an excellent job warding both attacks. Yeah, the back lines just doing their job. It has been all defense, particularly this Penn State back line completely shutting down the Florida State offense. 
Yeah, Yu Zhi Zhao, Dallas Dorsey, Dana Castellanos really couldn't get much of anything going with just two shots. Zhao, of course, has been very dominant, but you see Emily Ogle there, the feature midfielder, holding midfielder. And then on the other side, though, Florida State's been busy, but have come through when they needed to be. Yeah, Penn State's kept the Florida State defense busy. Natalia Quinka has stayed busy back there, holding it down for them. But Penn State's had a couple quality looks on goal, some opportunities that they would like to get back. A little bit of space, a couple of opportunities for Penn State getting behind Florida State's back line. But as you said, Natalia Quinka, one of those big back fours right there coming through. You take a look at the stats, shots in favor of Penn State. Pretty even with shots on goal and fouls, and Penn State has had the majority of the corners as well. So Penn State and Nittany Lions have come in here, certainly a solid team, but not afraid to come in on the road against Florida State have had the better of the opportunities. Yeah, those are numbers that you don't see from Florida State too often, just two shots and one shot on goal. They haven't been able to figure out how to get past that Penn State back line. It'll be interesting to see what they change in the second half. Yeah, especially here at home where they have only lost once in the NCAA tournament all time. Can Florida State find a way to assert their dominance. We'll find out here more from halftime after this. It looks like they're going to have a tremendous season. Hold up, let me get up in and now. Somehow this one seems different. The SEC Big Ten Challenge. Indiana takes on number one Duke, Tuesday at 9.30 on ESPN. Sometimes behind great success, there are things that we'd rather not know about. Our sports director came out of the office and said they have a tape. The Last Days of Night, Thursday at 7.30 p.m. on ESPN and streaming live on the ESPN app. Sponsored by American Express. Beautiful campus at Florida State University, of course. A lot of bricks laid at this campus. Both teams trying to lay some foundation here in this game. Haven't come through just yet with no goals being scored. And Catherine missed opportunities for both teams with Limited shot, opp shot opportunities. Yeah, Penn State has a couple opportunities. They're probably wishing that they could get back. Marissa Shiva has created quite a few of them. She's done a great job of getting open and creating space there. You see her regretting that one. She just needs to slow down and get a little bit better control on a few of her shots. Yeah, those balls really spinning quite a bit. Florida State hasn't had as many opportunities as they would like, and just Penn State's really closed the door on a lot of their opportunities. Yeah, Florida State's had a few less opportunities than they're used to having in their games, Yuji Zhao particularly. But this probably their best look so far on the game. Pat to Olivia Bergau, who sets up Zhao, but just misses on that ball. Just a case of missed opportunities and close calls thus far. Who can crack the code? Halftime still continues here between Penn State and Florida State. No score in Tallahassee. Rockets, Spurs at 8. Nuggets, Blazers at 10.30. Friday on ESPN. Presented by State Farm. Monday Night Football is in your future. Give thanks for an AFC South feast. As J.J. Watt and the Red Hot Texans go for their eighth straight win against the division rival Titans. So bring on Monday. Because Mondays are made. For Monday Night Football, Titans, Texans, tonight at 8.15 on ESPN. All about getting to the College Cup and the NCAA Division I Championship. Penn State, Florida State, knotted at nil-nil right now in this quarterfinal matchup. Take a look at the bracket from the rest of this tournament. You got on the other side, Georgetown and Baylor squaring off in Washington, D.C., and North Carolina against UCLA in Cary, North Carolina, which is where the site will be of the College Cup. That's on the other side. Of course, Florida State, Penn State going to face the winner of Stanford and Tennessee. And Penn State right now looking pretty good after the first half. And we've got head coach Erica Dom back down on the field. Coach, got to be pleased, I think, with the first half. Six shots to two and uh, had some pretty good looks. Yeah, we did. Um, we've got to be more dangerous, though. We've got to continue to make this goalkeeper make saves and put shots on frame. I think we've been in those spaces at times, and, um, you know, we've got to be a little bit more ruthless with our attack. Coach, what do you need to change to make the most of those opportunities? 
it's just the mentality. I think we're getting in some of those spaces. Sometimes we're jamming at central too often, um, and we can use that space wide. They use Ellie Jean a little bit more, um, but it's really just the mentality of, um, you know, putting balls on frame, make the goalkeeper make a save. Thanks, Coach. Thank Good you. luck in the second half. Erica Dombach likes what she's seen, but just got, has to finish the puzzle to get that goal. Second half kick coming up next. Every second. From every play. From every game. Has led to this. Find out who's in the College Football Playoff Selection Show, Sunday, December 2nd at noon on ESPN. Presented by AT&T. I'm going to lunch. You want some lunch? Ready to get things started here from Tallahassee in the second half of this quarterfinal matchup between the Penn State Nittany Lions, Big Ten champions, and the ACC champion Florida State Seminoles, the one seed here out of the Tall Tallahassee Regional. Trevor DeGroat, Catherine Phillips here as second half gets underway. Florida State starting with a long ball up, but Penn State will send it back. And no long balls in the first half by Florida State early on here, Catherine, and that's something Barbara Corian wants his team to try and get away from him a little bit. Yeah, well, it's so out of character for them. You don't see them playing that game, so why are they doing it now? You know, they feel that that's what they need to do to get past this Penn State defense, but it wasn't working. Their two best looks came from the few times where they put a sequence together, connected some passes. So that's what he told his team they need to change in this half. Excellent ball in, but a bit of an offsides call. Frankie Talafieri just offside. For Penn State, you know, good looks. A little bit of open spaces on some runs, but just a couple of different misfires has kept them from potentially having a real go at the net. Yeah, they've had those opportunities, but like Coach Dombach just said, you'd like to see them putting more pressure on Caroline Jeffers in the goal, forcing her to come up and make the save instead of just misfiring on those shots. They've gotten in pretty deep. They haven't exactly been able to challenge Jeffers too much. Diana Castellanos leaving it off for Tillman, who's left quite a bit alone in the center, but she has to work it over to the left where Pavlisko is, has it. Meets up with the ball to Villalobos, enters the box. Penn State all over that, though, covering it like a blanket. She will work it back up to Williams. No matter how you slice it, it's so difficult to find a way to get past Penn State, either on the outside or the inside. Castellanos gives it up to Zhao. Over to Carl. That's the NCAA logo. Berkeley. Yeah, flickering heel. Really pulled the wool off her eyes. And in ball to Tillman. McFarland, give and go to Tillman. Back to Berkeley. A challenge, however. And a look over to the left. Hoyer's there to beat her. After reassess to Pavlisko. And reset things to Quigley. Whitney Lions once again, knocking things down. Berkeley up top, completely misfires. Elf is there. Oh, trying to give Chase a little bit. Disrupt. Castellanos, however, has it. Referee almost touched that one. Zhao, though, back to Castellanos. Castellanos has been held in check pretty well in this match. Really only one shot all game. Battle near the corner flag. Pass Pavlis going off. Villalobos at the corner of the box. Enters. Shot cross, but it is disrupted. However, it does result in a corner for Florida State. Be Dana Castellanos walking over. See if she can have a go for the net. Castellanos very talented with the ball. Has had a pretty good has had pretty good looks on corners this season, Catherine. Challenging for the net. One arm up. 
Ready to go. Chow coming in close. Gonna go all the way over to Quika, way outside the box. They're trying to separate Penn State a little bit. Boy from that. Quika going for goal. Shot. Right hand saved by Dennis, and that really surprised the junior keeper as Quika with that hard left foot drove the ball right at the net. That was a great shot from Quika, and that may be what you have to do to throw off this Penn State back line. You may have to surprise them in that way. It worked that time, but that was an incredible save from Dennis to punch that ball out. Hands over the mouth there. Here's another corner, though. Dana coming in low. And it was deflected once again by Penn State, so a third chance here for Florida State on corners. See what Castellanos does on this attempt. Goes high, trying to get Howell involved. Nobody there, kind of ping-pongs around some Nittany Lion defenders. As Howell's shaken up a little bit. Like she's grabbing maybe her stomach region or maybe her wrist. Yeah, holding that right hand. She's toughing it out, though. Going to see if she can give it a go. As Penn State has the ball, but quickly turned back over. To Florida State. Here's Howell still grasping that right wrist. Pavlisko now getting challenged again. See what happened here on this corner attempt by Howell. Falls down. And actually, oh my goodness, the back of the cleat from Frankie Talif. Tally Fer Talia Fieri steps on Howell's fingers. That'll hurt no matter who you are. Yeah, that's a lot of pressure on the hand right there. But Jalen Howell, one of the best athletes on this Florida State team, Mark Kikorian was just telling us she likes to do the dirty work that other players will do but may not be as excited about as she is. She's been such an integral part of that defense and also even on the attack and winning a lot of 50-50s for her club all season long. Incredible taking the ball out of the air, too. Penn State trying to work up. Over to Ellie Jean. Such a change of pace when the ball's at her feet. Here she comes running. Dicing through. Right to Jeffers. Good drive, but too square on net. Ellie Jean looking for that first goal of the season. US U20 starter in the 2016 FIFA World Cup. You know she's got some talent. They wanted her to be more involved in the second half. So Coach Dombach called for, and he has delivered on that claim already. A lot more action here to the start this first six, seven minutes of action here in the second half. Florida State. Starts things for some openings. Berkeley going long ball, nobody home. Penn State trying to feed to Talia Fieri, but no dice. As Howell comes up, shaking off the step, stepped hand, and Castellanos keeps the ball, trying to feed McFarland into the center. Locked down by that defense. Tillman to Zhao, to Castellanos, shot, score! Dana Castellanos! The Venezuelan sensation with a huge goal, her 10th of the season. Crowd going crazy, Florida State up 1-0. Just under 38 to go. What a big moment, Catherine. For Dana Castellanos, 36 of the season, and she just drove this one. What a beautiful shot. Three defenders right in front of her. None of them expecting her to take that shot, though. And Amanda Dennis just watch, watches that ball go right by her. Castellanos has been biting her time quite a bit here in this tournament to come through with a big-time goal. And, boy, doesn't get much bigger than that. Now we see Anna Patton coming on in. And she's going to take the spot of Jalen Howell as she's going to probably get some recovery on that hand. Maybe get it taped up. But a huge goal for Florida State. 1-0.
with 37-30 remaining in this game. And now Penn State, who seemed to be in control of this match the whole way, Catherine, has to really put that to the test and assert even more dominance, perhaps, if they want to come out victorious. Yeah, Penn State's going to want to start pressing a little more, being a little bit more aggressive. They've been so comfortable just dominating back there in defense. But now's their time to really start pressing. Giannis takes over once again. Moves it off to Pavlisko, and they'll just send it down. And there's been times, Catherine, where Castellanos has, certainly has not had a shortage of shots this year. I mean, she has certainly been the main shot taker for the Seminoles, but has been robbed on several chances this year. And to have that one come in at this moment in time, knowing that her team has been struggling a bit in this category, just today against Penn State, it's been a challenge. What a big moment. Yeah, she's taking a lot of shots this year, but she's one of those players that can make a goal anywhere from the field. She's had some incredible goals throughout her career. The only way you're going to get out of a scoring funk if she even has one is keep on shooting. Got to find a way to get through it eventually. Can't just stop shooting, and she comes through with a big one here. Florida State back with possession. Marl at the touch line. Right back to Berkeley. Goes up. Cut through that Penn State defense. Over to Anna Patton. She'll go wide. Have Lisko and Villalobos trying to work together. Dribbling by Villalobos to McFarland to Castellanos. Flick over. Villalobos tried to put some force on that header, but slipped and fell. As McFarland tries to battle for the ball against Ortega Gerardo, but a foul charge to Florida State. Be a free kick. Something's called against McFarland. And Catherine, as you mentioned, really Penn State really surprised perhaps that that shot almost came out of nowhere. You see Jalen Howell get back into the game. Fingers are taped up. She was kind of left on an island, just frozen in time almost. Surprised that that ball came flying in. Yeah, well, even that chip that we just saw from Dana Castellanos caught their defense off guard a little bit. So that may be what they talked about in the locker room, but that seems to be the game plan here. Just take some quicker shots and catch them off guard. That was from Dana's left foot. She's a right-footed shot, so that was quite impressive. What Penn State can do with this. You see Moyer have the ball. Tried to go through. Berkeley there to lock things down. Abello. Talia Fieri trying to get through it, but Berkeley and Quico, excellent heel pass at the bottom of the cleats. No handball. Penn State wanted it. Didn't get the call, but a big job by Kaylee Real. Give Penn State the ball once again, but they'll just send it back. Carl and Villalobos. Correction, Pavlisko over there. Shiva trying to be a disruptor once again, and she drags down Pavlisko. Quite the aggressor has Marissa Shiva been. 5 3 senior, Sellersburg, Pennsylvania. Knowing that this is her last game, along with several others, perhaps. Only way to keep the season going is with a victory at this stage of the season. And this is where they'll start to pick it up, get a little bit more aggressive because they're realizing that their season is on the line and they need to make something happen now. Now get the Seminole War Chant going. They'll inspire the Knolls to hold on to this lead. 1-0 Florida State over Penn State. Over to Tillman. Poor pass, poor touch. Ogle right there, but a nice job to regather. Here's Castellanos. Almost looked like she teed one up again, but found Villalobos open on the left side. And an excellent job by Nolf. However, Pavlisko right there to get it. Tillman. A nice little fancy pass, but was denied inside. Carl. His possession. Falls down, however, in Penn State. Works it back up with Real. Through ball to Williams, just misses the mark. 
McFarlane is there. Great through ball by Pavlisko. Outnumbered, however. Back line, so difficult, and McFarlane gives a little too much push. Molina, Ortega, Harada. Restart. State not exactly an offensive juggernaut. They've had a lot of low scoring ball games. Of course, in soccer, that's expected a lot of times. They're going to have to rely on their team to set up a lucky somebody. Come away with the goal. Here's another look at that incredible goal by Castellanos. That's such a great job to see the open corner and take that shot. A lot of passion coming out there. Number 10 getting her 10. Here comes Ellie Jean. Excellent job by Malia Berkeley. However, Penn State momentarily got possession in Pavlisko. Disrupts that pass to the outside as the fans loving it right now. That back line for Florida State probably going to be tested like never before now. Have to be sharp, as sharp as ever this season. Mark Corian and coaching staff trying to tell everybody to go far, get down there. Back and forth with 50-50s, and Boyer trying to get it up the pitch. She does, she finds Talia Fieri, however, Quica goes over to Pavlisko, deflected, and Zhao trying to trace it. She does, she wins the ball from Nolf. To get it out, finds Carl wide open on the other side of the pitch. Excellent recognition. The ball down, excellent header by Real. Play by Penn State trying to work it up. Here comes Jean. He, she has speed. Excellent deflection by Carl. However, that'll be a corner. Carl, better safe than sorry. Challenging for that ball. Jeffers also making sure that didn't go squeak in between her and the post. Hey, Jean, quite the difference maker, Catherine. Really trying to quicken the pace for Penn State for a team that kind of likes to slow it down. Yeah, she's been a difference maker all year for them. And if anyone's capable of speeding things up and making those plays, it's her. Ogle. Wait! Low in swinger. Florida State keeps it in. Villalobos clears it down. Jean is there. Long ball over. This is the head of Carl. Villalobos. Very close to a foul call seven, against Carrie Abello. As Dallas Dorsey will once again re-enter for Kristen McFarlane. Those are the kind of plays, though, Catherine, you can't afford to just give an opportunity to. Villalobos was lucky not to be charged. She was lucky there. That's a dangerous spot to be risking getting a foul, especially at this point in the game against a Penn State team who can strike so quickly. And not just that, that was close to being inside the 18. And if you have a foul in there, you know what that means. That's a penalty kick. <laughs> foul to Florida State. Crowd not liking it. Players and coaching staff for Florida State not liking it either. Looked like it was Zelina Ortega Harado who got who fell down as we'll take another look. Looks as though she tries to spin, and it was Cuico who comes up to disrupt. I think Ortega Morado tried to avoid it. And Cuico is actually shaken up on this play. That would be a huge loss for Florida State without her in that back line. She has been busy and very sharp today. 
Yeah, Quika's been put to work all day long. She's done a great job of relieving some of the pressure off of Caroline Jeffers. Looks like she took a shot to the gut, perhaps. All ACC second team honors. She's back up, though. Ogle, free kick opportunity, sending it in. It's Howell out there to head it away. Knox solid with that responsibility all season. Ogle trying again to the outside. Now Blisco gets a header, not her best. Castellanos, high clearance to the touch line. It'll be a throw in. Trevor DeGroat, Catherine Phillips, coming to you live from the Seminole Soccer Complex here in Tallahassee. The NCAA Championship quarterfinal match. Florida State one, Penn State nil. Penn State putting in Kristen Schnur and Kim Dubs. They check into the game. More offensive threats. Dolph trying to cut up. Another throw in for Penn State. Nittany Lions need a goal to equalize and keep this game alive. Florida State will get the ball back once again. It's Jalen Howell. Of course, we talked about her having her fingers taped after getting stepped on on her hand. Now she's gingerly walking as well, so she has been battling against this very gritty and tough Big Ten champion. Howell likes to get in on the action. She will fight for every ball for her teammates. Castellanos outside to Carl. This is one of the more tougher teams Florida State has probably faced all season long. Big Ten is all about toughness. One of the qualities that you talk about. Interception by Kim Dubs. Trying to feed Schnur, but Florida State working back very nicely as you see Howell disrupting. However, it'll be a throw in for Penn State. Emily Ogle crossing it back over to Nolf. Ogle, of course, we've seen her, Catherine, so far taking all, a lot of the set piece opportunities. I haven't really seen her going, though, when they've gotten close to the box. And when you're in that sixth position, you don't really see the ball too much. However, they depend on her for a lot of what they do, both defensively and offensively. Once again, Ogle in her 100th game, that's first among active players in NCAA Division I. A lot of experience and knowledge and skill that comes with that. Ogle named the captain of this team in the middle of the season as well. Dennis boots it far. Goes to Berkeley. And Jeffers will line drive it down the center. Disruption by Quika. Quika, far up the pitch. Feeds it to Zhao. Quika's still up there. Back to Zhao again. Challenged by Williams. It moves by Zhao. Castellanos tees one up. Shot just a bit high. Perhaps the ball a little surprised to get to her. Had to rush it a little bit, knowing the opening was closing. The fans liking it. Castellanos getting a lot more involved in the second half than she was in the first. Finding a little bit more freedom in the second 45 minutes. Florida State working it back to Jeffers. Shot advantage. Still Penn State's, but it's closed quite a bit. From six to two to now seven to five. Both teams even in saves and corners, so Florida State has certainly come out of the second half. The better mindset, approach, and play. And they're rewarded with the one-nil lead. Morsi saves it. Dubs is there. Wolf going to go back to Kaylee Reel. 
Real spent four camps with the USU 23 team. Take Hirado back to Real. Bad ball, right, goes right to Yuji Zhao. Tillman on the run, gets free. Jean right on her tracks. Good move back, cutting back inside. Dorsey still on side, trying to find a partner perhaps on a cross. So an excellent job by Penn State again. Not letting it get into the center to challenge Dennis. Penn State certainly has not had as many possessions as last half thus far, Catherine. They're going to need some more to get the opportunities they need to get it past Jeffers. Yeah, they seem to have flipped roles a little bit in this half. Florida State starting to string together some more passes, and Penn State's been playing a little bit of the long ball game, just struggling to get past Florida State defense right now. Perhaps just pressing a little bit. Olivia Bergau comes in for Gloriana Villalobos. There's a Shiva back in the ball game. She's subbing in for Charlotte Williams. Williams plays that attacking midfielder spot right below Talia Fier. Barry on the bench right now. Kristen Schnur has her spot. Here's Malia Berkeley. Castellanos in the center. How? Good job marking by Penn State in that midfield. As they have bunkered two rows of five. Tillman. Rockwell doing a nice job avoiding the balls in the center right there. The head official twice now. Chow cross. Dennis with the save. Trying to feed Dorsey or Tillman, it looked like. One of the only few times Florida State has gotten a cross that deep in. Dennis with a big boot, big punt down. Goes to Moyer. Dubs, she sends it down. Schnur, not going to get to that one. Jeffers will play a little cat and mouse with that ball and gathers it. Kristen Schnur came in with zero points last year. Tied for first on the team this year. Of course, we mentioned she leads the team in goals with eight. Tied for first with Talia Fieri and Carrie Abello. Well, how about Carrie Abello, Shea Moyer, and Christian Schnur had a combined one point last year. This season, they've had 50 points together. Absolutely remarkable how they can just, with little to no experience, come in and just be such difference makers and be team leaders. That's a lot of credit to the development that they're doing at Penn State as well. Just goes to show off-season conditioning, off-season workouts, studying, a lot of dedication and commitment you have to do in the off-season that leads you to this point right now. Again, being driven by all the success that they're surrounded by. Less than 20 minutes to go. Penn State needs a goal. Well, their season is over. 1-0 Florida State. Once again, winner moves on to a berth into the College Cup, in the final four of this NCAA tournament. Winner will meet either Stanford or Tennessee. Of course, it only gets tougher with each game that goes along, and it doesn't get much tougher than those two opponents. Stanford, of course, number one seed, number one ranked team in the country. Tennessee, a dominant program in their own right. the touchline, Florida State will throw back in once again. Castellanos is the difference with that drive of a shot in the second half. 
as Anna Patton comes in for Yuji Zhao. And Frankie Taliaferri subs in for Carrie Abella. Taliaferri may be the player they go to, Catherine, in this critical time. Florida State puts the ball back in play, works it back. Her shot on goal percentage is 65.5%. Seven goals and five assists on the season. She's someone who can make the difference in this game for them. So well-rounded as a unit. Coach Dombach said to us before the game that you know, she can depend on really anybody here. They can work the ball around. There's not really a go-to, have to key on this person kind of a player because they have great experience and great skill technically all around. A long ball trying to get Castellanos the ball. Dennis is there to snare it from the air. Yeah, that's something that's nice to know as a coach and as a player, too. You're not being told to give the ball to just one person. Your coach knows that you can make a difference, as can anyone else on the field. And that's probably what helps create the unity that they have as a team. They do such a good job of feeding off each other, and it's gotten them to this point in the season. That's why they've won 10 of the last 12. Big Ten titles, at least tied for first or finishing first in the regular season. They have owned the Big Ten quite considerably. Give Dubs, trying to ward off Bergau and Pavlisko, but advantages were not in her number. I should say numbers are not in her favor. That's the term. Bergal gets the ball back to Patton. Ooh, tried to go outside to Carl, but thought better of it. Now slow to try and catch up to that ball, and Nolfel send it up the side and back to Florida State. 16-20 remaining in this game. Florida State is really taking control in the second half. Coach Erica Dombach trying to Shout out, get her team in sync. Gal. State, perhaps not as aggressive on defense, not chasing, not really challenging too much. Gonna have to here step it up. And gets to the outside. They really close the gap though fast. Berkeley, long ball, trying to go to Tillman, but Gene. Perfect timing. Castellanos to Patton in the center. Knocks it down to Dorsey, to Patton, but just missed the timing. Ortega Harado there to cut it off. Otherwise, Patton was all alone in the box. Tillman to Dorsey, and she pull a shot off. Walls there intact for Penn State. Castellanos, ball over to Bergal, but it's a little bit too deep. Over on that diagonal ball, and it'll go back to the Nittany Lions. Florida State not letting off the gas pedal here, Catherine, in a critical moment in the game. Yeah, Florida State knows that they can't get comfortable at this point. This Penn State team is dangerous, and a 1-0 lead can change at any moment. So Florida State's not going to slow down by any means. If anything, I think we've seen them get even a little bit more aggressive. It's the kind of mentality you need if you want to win a championship. Carla Williams back in, subbing for Kip Dubs. State just hasn't been able to get a lot of consistent possession time in this half. With time ticking away, they need to find some in a fast, a fast, quick pace. Thumbs up from Florida State fans. 1-0 lead. Marissa Shiva backing up, trying to get back on defense. She's been held in check this half after a pretty recognizable first 45 minutes, pulling off a couple shots that just simply misfired on the net. Castellanos alone has a lot of space to maneuver. Pass over to Patton. Shot deflected in front. Gene. Boxing out Dorsey, who gets a foot on it in front of the net, but no Seminoles near it. Castellanos there to block. 
Natalia Ferry. Right into the box, or cross. And she'll just force it off of Jean, and that'll give Florida State the corner. Castellanos really finding a groove in this half, half Catherine, and she's going to try and put this one back. The fifth corner of the afternoon for the Seminoles. Out swinger, low liner, tried to feed Carl, flying into the box. And it gets forced out. Over to Castellanos once more. He's trying to stop, set it up. Patton's there, outside the box, header by Dorsey. Can Tillman get ahead on it? She does, shot, saved by Dennis, and another save by Dennis. Casey Tillman with two opportunities, being challenged all at the same time, showing her workhorse work ethic. Here comes Pavlisko now. And then it goes right to Emily Ogle, who'll try and settle things down for Penn State. Get it back up, but it goes right to the feet of Quica. That was so impressive from Dennis to be able to hold down and fight that battle. Florida State still squeezing Penn State's defense. Carl, excellent moves. And Santos will send it right back to Quica with 12 minutes left in the game. Patton. Just handles a little bit with the feet as Talia Ferry sends it right back up for Schnur, but once again, Berkeley and Quica. Very nice job. Working the ball back to Jeffers, and Berkeley will send it back, and she has Dorsey wide open. Dorsey had to control. Back to Tillman. Has a little bit of space. Good challenge by Real, however. Really aggressive tackle. Berkeley, however, not giving up. Ogle. Her collide a little bit. Bergau trying to chase it down, but it's Maddie Nolf there. Gives it to Shiva. Can Penn State do something with it? And a poor job once again on the passes. Tillman to Castellanos. And just a missed pass. Perhaps looking for Anna Patton, and it'll go right back to the Pitney Lions. Here comes Ellie Jean. Long ball. Puika, excellent header. Lisko and Shiva, and it'll go to Penn State. That check time here for the Nittany Lions, Catherine, is they're going to make a move. Now is about the time to really get in sequence and sync on the attack. Yeah, they know they have 10 minutes to get a goal in. Their players up front calling for the ball right now, starting to communicate a lot more. Gene, cross inside, right to Jeffers, had to. Knock it down, couldn't catch it on the initial shot, but falls on it very nicely. Jean going out way wide, trying to do something towards the net, looking for Schnur. Jeffers doing just enough to hang on. It's a great idea to take the quick shot right there and again put pressure on Caroline Jeffers. Got to do it now or never, with less than 10 to go. Clearance by Penn State. Berkeley heads it over. Shiva gathers. Wika cuts off Shiva on the run. It'll be a throw in. We'll get more substitutions. Villalobos and McFarland back in as Bergau and Dorsey exit. Shea Moyer departs. Gary Abello re enters. Loader to Schnur. And Williams onside, going right towards the end line. As Quica will get it. Penn State tried a little interplay, give and go, and no avail. However, they will get the ball right back. Loader in. Quica saves it with a header that goes past the end line, but Talia Ferry, Ferry was streaming down the side and Probably would have had an open look had that pass connected to her feet. The urgency is really starting to show for Penn State here, getting more aggressive. See a very good pass in. It was just 
Quika, who denied it, took that pass off. Here's Emily Ogle, out swinging corner. Howell to head, Williams, and gets challenged by Quika very aggressively. This will be a very close free kick. Probably about 25 yards. Maybe call it 24 for Penn State. So second dangerous free kick opportunity for the Nittany Lions. With less than eight to go, this could be their best chance of the game. Once again, Ortega Harado and Emily Ogle standing over. Harado took the first one. Harado took the first one. She goes again. Shot towards the net. Just wide right. Had the bend, but just miscalculated the initial kick. Very dangerous challenge by Penn State. Suzy Zhao comes in, and Dombach knows that was very close. She knew they had it. That was a beautiful shot. So close, just a little too wide. And Penn State knows that they had a great opportunity to get the equalizer there. So they've gone wide of that Florida State wall both times. That one, though, right for the net. Right on goal. Here's McFarlane. Always gets challenged as that top forward for Florida State. Does a nice job getting the ball back. However, ball's turned over. Barry Abello intercepted Carl. But Florida State gets it right back. Carl will shoot it down the right flank. 6.45 left. Florida State up 1-0. Penn State once again needs to score to keep this game alive and keep their season alive. Real. And harassed by McFarland, but gets it over to Abello. Outside ball to Emily Ogle, captain of this team. And Castellanos on her, 10 v 10. Castellanos right there, getting to the defense. See what Penn State wants to do here. They go long throw. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Looks like Carrie Abello. Very, very acrobatic throw in. <laughs> as Howell heads it out, using the ball, all the force in the world. There's a lot of skill to pull that off. I mean, at this point, you gotta give it all you got, right? Whatever you can, it's almost a glorified cross. Garland trying to go down and beat Jean to the ball, but she will not, as Dennis will whack it to midfield. Zhao and Castellanos in the center. We'll get it back out to Carl. Less than 5.30 remaining in the game. Carl, good move to beat Abello up the right side. Dragged by her arm, and a challenge for it. Abello with some really aggressive play. Wins the ball back at the end line. Berkeley's there. Tillman and Ogle going at it. And Abello will get charged for the foul. Gonna go point here for the Nittany Lions. Castellanos has this free kick, and she is dangerous as the Garnet and Gold chance. Get going here in Tallahassee. Berkeley and Castellanos. Castellanos won't challenge for the net, instead go back to the reliable feet of Natalia Quica. Back over, Berkeley is free and alone. Good skill against Ogle. That end line, completely uncommon territory for the defender. Carl now. State with nothing else, doing a good job of ticking away some clock. Castellanos working their way back towards the back line of Florida State's formation. And it'll go back to Penn State. Less than four remaining. Castellanos header down to Zhao. Berkeley challenged. Beautiful job of recognizing where to go and finds Carl. 
A lot of space for Gabby Carr. Out to McFarland. Zhao trying to get it up. The clear it's over by Penn State. Florida State brilliantly doing a great job, Catherine, of wasting the clock and still keeping the ball. Yeah, Florida State went back to doing what they do so well, holding on to possession, and we saw them struggle with that for so long in this game. But ever since that first goal, they've just gotten back to the way that they play and the way that they win games, and that's thrown Penn State off a little bit. Throw in to Zhao, right in the corner. Challenged by two Penn State defenders. And it goes to Penn State, actually, and crowd not happy about that at all. Zhao thought she would have hit it right off the feet of Carrie Abello, but they've just gotten skimmed off her cleats. And now a challenge by McFarlane, the foul. This is a crowd getting a little angsty. They want this game to be over with, obviously. And it's a huge crowd. I mean, you see the crowd really trickling, not just on this one side where we are, Catherine, but obviously we've mentioned the parking garage, but it's starting to get along the sides towards both end lines and even across you see the street across from us on Stadium Drive. There's people along the fence looking in on this game. Yeah, this crowd has stuck around the entire game. I think they know what's on the line, just like every player on the field does, and they seem to be just as into it. This is crunch time. Penn State trying to find something. Two minutes to go. Gene is there. And it'll be their ball. They have to kick it into high gear now. Florida State's been just doing an excellent job, and that's just a poor pass of just keeping the ball and keeping the pressure on. Penn State has barely had any offensive momentum in this half at all. In fact, they only have two shots in this half. Villalobos. Penn State has to commit to get the ball, and they'll get lucky here. They'll get a throw in with 120 remaining in the game haven't been able to get any sort of consistent passes together, and this will go to Florida State. Florida State will milk this as much as they can. They'll throw it all the way down. Goes off McFarlane and goes back the other way. Penn State's got to get the ball away from the touch line. Instead, they're going straight down, and Florida State will send it back again. McFarland still has it along the touch line. She's going to just run towards that end line. Once again, Penn State just cannot get anything going. 42 seconds remaining. Fans standing on their feet. Only a matter of seconds if Florida State can hold on. And advance to the College Cup for the first time since 2015. Last chance for Penn State. They are way away from a goal. Clarence, they get it up. Penn State's forward, Frankie Taliaferri, but that ball goes into the bushes, past the bench. And Florida State will hang on to this win. Hang on to the game. They advance to the College Cup. Thanks to Dana Castellanos, Florida State wins 1-0 over Penn State. They have run the table here in Tallahassee, defending their home turf, and will go to the College Cup for their 10th all-time appearance ever since 2015. Just a complete effort gathering the second half by Florida State, really clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, what a great job from Florida State, being able to make those second half adjustments, change it up from what they saw in the first half, make plays happen, regain possession, getting the goal that they needed and coming out and winning this game. I mean, it was a totally different team that we saw in the second half. They went back to playing the game that they're so used to playing and the game that has allowed them to win so many games. Off the feet of Dana Castellanos. That's the difference in this game. As we take a look, there it is, Florida State. Moving on to the College Cup in the semifinals. They'll meet the winner of Stanford and Tennessee on November the 30th. That is next Friday. Cary, North Carolina, you can see that game on ESPNU. Stanford, the team that I don't think anyone really wants to face on the other side of the field, but at this point, everyone can play, and it's going to be a great match no matter who's on the other side.
Fans giving a stirring ovation to their hometown team. Yuji Zhao and all of Florida State's elite athletes really coming through in the big moment here. This is as packed of a crowd as we've seen it all season. Team dishing out those small soccer balls, little souvenirs for the hometown faithful. They're excited to head back to Cary, North Carolina and really get things going and try and compete at Penn State. Can't say enough about this team, Catherine. They've really been a huge force all season long and of course coming up with 13 games unbeaten. Their last 13 and just came into a, an environment and faced a club that just pulled it all together when it mattered most. Yeah, what Penn State did this season was so impressive. They've been great all season long. One of the best defenses in college soccer. We saw that here today and they've had a great season. We're going to head now down to the field to talk with the player of the match. Of course, that's the Winning goal scorer here, Dana Castellanos. Dana, congratulations, first of all, advancing to the College Cup. Walk us through that goal you scored here in the second half to notch the victory for you. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, the second half, definitely, we came with more attitude, more energy, and like uh, usually a great ball uh, down to me and with the left foot, like I smack it. <laughs> Dana, what made the difference for you guys in the second half and allowed you to settle in and start to make more plays happen? I think that we all knew that we were capable to do better and to be uh, to control the tempo more and to control the, the game more. So what I told you, like the energy that we bring in the second half was much better than the first one. So that's, that was the difference. Well, you come now, get, advance to the College Cup, first time you're going to experience that moment and going right back to an environment where you just won the ACC championship. What does that do in terms of mojo and an atmosphere for you to go back to carry? No, this is amazing. This is amazing. We are uh, living a dream right now. Uh, our goal, of course, is to win the national championship, but we are very, very excited to play the Final Four. Well, Dana, congratulations once Thank again. You. Go celebrate. Congratulations. Go Nels. There you have it, Dana Castellanos with the big 10th goal of the season, but the one goal that matters in this game to punch Florida State's ticket to the College Cup. From our entire production team and my broadcast partner, Catherine Phillips, my name is Trevor DeGroat. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Once again, your score, Florida State 1, Penn State nothing. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live on the ESPN app to watch this entire game on replay as well as others. Games on our family of ESPN networks watch on ESPN.com. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care.